Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a new series that I'm uh, doing as part of my, uh, shall we say, Crusader Kings 2 return uh, to my channel, and that is Lux Invicta. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan of the font either, but it's okay. It's it, it's it's a good mod, I promise. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is a interesting mod that I people have been telling me to check out for a long time now, but never did get around to it because the description for the mod is pants on head retarded, and seriously it makes it sound like it's a United Roman Empire uh, versus like a giant Zoroastrian Empire. It. It's a little bit, you know, the, like the description needs to be re reworked. So uh, that that sort of, you know, stopped me from checking it out for a really long time, and I've only checked it out recently. Uh, finally, getting around to it, and uh, I needless to say, I was surprised when I saw this map. Like I was expecting, you know, Rome and Sassanid, like just, you know, duking it out. Hmm. Morning copy. All right. So, let's begin. Um, this this is gonna be interesting. Um, there is about every religion in history in this mod. Uh, and it's it's actually kind of hilarious that I know most of these. Uh, I'm as I as far as I can tell, the solar. Uh, anything with solar in it is either some weird sun cult in the Roman Empire that I don't know about. Or is simply a made-up religion. I've started to note that. Um, but you'll notice that you know you got a lot of weird stuff. Foreign Sikhover. It's that, that's some Scandinavian tongue I can't pronounce. Uh, it is basically Nordic. Of course. Uh, Odin Solar. Like I said, it seems to be like a cross between Nordic and this Solari religion that exists. Solar Imperial. I have no freaking no idea. Um, you know, you get a lot of things like Jewish, Elohimi, uh, which is hilarious. Most people won't know what Elohimi is. Um, but most people will know the word or the demon god Baal, who is the uh, champion of the pantheon. It is, like, I, I can look at most of these religions and say, uh, yeah, I know exactly what they are. Mithriac. Mithriac was a crazy ass cult uh, that was in the Roman Empire between. I want to say 300 BC, 180, uh, within that region, uh, and they had some crazy ass initiation rites. There was like seven circles with seven different initiation rites, and they were pretty demanding on the person um, in order to join the religion. Probably a good reason that it died out. Um, let's see, Malakabad. Those are both Elohimi heresies, I can tell, um, because they both they both contain gods. Of uh, the Elohimi pantheon, um, Osiphorist, Luwian, really, Tarunite. Uh, these are, in fact, Hittite religions, I believe. Uh, let me check that. Luwian. Uh, is there anyone we can like check? Hittite. Yeah, Hittite. Holy shit, it's the Hittites. Yeah, Hittite. That's Christian. That's Hittite. Yeah. There's Hittites. For those of you who don't know who the Hittite are, that around 1300 BC they owned effectively this region. This would have pretty much been their borders. Pretty cool. Yeah, they're 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 great guys. Um, interesting little uh, culture. Like I said, I I could go through and probably name most of the religions here. Uh, Aryan was a form of Christianity, for example, that uh was worshipped mostly by the Germanic gods. It was almost a sort of proto-Catholicism. Uh, not Germanic. Uh, the Germanic barbarian kings, such as Ordasser, uh, the Vandals. Who were these guys? I can't remember. Big Kingdom. Used to be right here. Um, shoot. I forget. I forget who they were. Um, but basically mostly worshipped by the barbarian kings and was almost a form of proto-Catholicism. Uh, uh, let's look at some of the cultures, too. We got Frank, Rosidian, Vezi, Romanus, Catalan, Romanus, Romanus. I'm assuming Romanus is Latin uh, and or Roman. Romanian would probably be Greco-Latin or Greco-Roman. Shuri, Pazura. 
Oh yeah, and some of the religions I know some here. Indo-Hellenics. And even Buddhists. Tengri Buddhists. Like, you have every form of religion and culture I have ever freaking seen around here. Um, which, which is awesome. I, I, I am actually okay with all that. So, there is also the Despotate of Palmyra, which, ironically enough, is House Zenobian. That's a rather fictional house right there. Um, but we're going to be playing as them, because why not? It's a staple for me now at this point. Palmyra and Ambar. All right, so. Uh, let's start. Oh, yeah, we're probably going to be spending a lot of time on character creation. I'm just going to go into the traits for a second. Hey, guys, watch this. So this is where that ends, right? That's where the uh, normal traits end. And then we have all of this. We have a lot to go through. <laughs> Uh, we do have a lot to go through, everyone. So this is, so this is going to be uh, something, that's for certain. Um, uh, yeah, making my own character. That's gonna be a tough thing to do. It's, it's gonna be tough. Um, yeah, we even have like Jupiter right here. I just want to sit here and just like read about all these religions because I know so much about them. Which is strange because I've never taken a religion. Like I've never uh, officially studied any religion. Uh, it's just stuff I learned. But yeah, we need to actually play a game here, so let's, uh, let's get into the character creation screen. Uh, before I get carried away, uh, talking about more, more religions. Uh, I would go over, you know, how things look all around here, and, you know, who rules what. But the reality is there is just too much to do that. I mean, I can say right now, here, we have... Boy, the rubber. Like, we have the Capets, ruling Neustria. Who the hell that is, but there are, you know, dynasties that you would otherwise recognize. The Tulids, for example, are still here. 867, they ruled Egypt, for anyone wondering. Uh, like, they, they, they are, there are, you know, various famous uh, ones around here. Julianos, and Melanantian, Julargadai, Justinian, there's uh, some famous dynasties people should note. Uh, they, they do exist in the game, but like I said, we're going to be keeping it to uh, Palmyra. Uh, like I said, Zenobia was the warrior queen of Palmyra. Uh, she ruled it a 267, I think, was when she took over, to 272. Well, short reign, short reign. Um, but in that time, she managed to conquer Asia Minor and Egyptus, and lose the entire empire when the uh, Western legions came. Yeah, this is, this is gonna be hard. I think it'd just be... You know what? Let's do it. Uh, let's make an analog of myself. Genius. Check. Mmm... Slothful. I... Huh? What does Slothful actually give? Fertility plus 10%. <laughs> wow. Alright, uh, I am a patient person. Probably don't. has something to do with the fact I'm lazy. Shy, definitely. Uh, some people would be like, wait, you're not going to take Humble again? No. I used Humble in place of something that didn't exist, which I believe exists now. Um, yeah, we got, we're getting into the new stuff here. Widowed. Communitarian. I have no idea what the heck any of this is for, but... Um, trained fighter, veteran fighter, skilled fighter, formidable fighter. Eh? Sanguine. Uh, I've looked at a lot of this, and so for those of you wondering, uh, I'm melancholic. Melancholic temperament is fundamentally introverted and cerebral. Cerebral. Blah. Cerebral. Uh, I cannot speak today. Holy balls. This is basically, you know, like, types of thinkers. Um, And this is, you know, th there are, like, secondary colors. Um, plus one stewardship, plus one lighting. So we're very sensitive, yeah. But I am melancholic with traces of the thalamatic type. Which is... Tempered by people who engage in serious thought. Uh, melancholic is purple. So, if there is... Well, I purple. I wonder what the reverse that is. 
Christmas here, saw it. Also, it's really, which really seems feelings and spirituality. Yeah, I have no idea. But it seems to be like primary and secondary. But an introvert or whoever thinks. You can only pick one of them. As you can now see. Uh, so I'm picking that. Oh, um, age 55. Well, sooner or later we're gonna have to get into the bad stuff. And keep over that thing now. I'm a very reserved person. Cool and formal behaviors. With no display of emotions, very true. Um The peaceful may seem cowardly by itself. Very true. Uh I don't get angry at her. Oh, well, there's other reasons for that. Uh indecisive. And it's almost realistic. Um, this character focused not on what? Not on what is, but what uh, ought to be. Yep, that's uh, me. Family person. Foremost, uh, procrastinator. Yep. Arrogant. Uh, characters that treat themselves spirit, all others, and they don't try to hide it. Eh, yeah, that's. Mm, eh. We'll see. Constant. Not much change or variation in the character's behavior. We're trying to perfectly judge among the court members. Which makes him a perfect judge. That would. No, no, no. Let's not go with that one. Predictable, dull, resentful, stubborn, money, traditionalist, eloquent. How to persuade others and dazzle people with smart choice of words. Very true for me. If anyone's ever heard of my speeches. <laughs> uh, fickle, let's see. No strong convictions. And changing opinions at the drop of the hat. <laughs> that's all that. I want to say that's a lot like me. Not quite. Um. Yeah. We'll see. I usually have reasons for changing things. Manipulative. Skillful at influencing others, although family members may very well have grown immune to this character's tactics. Man, I wish my family hadn't grown immune to my tactics. Over-imaginative. Uh, confused with real was imagined. Obsessed with, with conspiracy theories, not always without reason. Hmm. Persists even in the face of unlikely odds and significant difficulties. Yep. Although I may not seem like it, I do. Hmm. Pompous, exceedingly formal, with and solemn, tends to spend money on grand events and ceremonies. Well, yeah. A haggler, always bargaining to get the best deal. Eh, not really. I don't think I've ever bargained in my life. Callous, uh, not very sensitive to those needs and suffering, which helps when commanding an army, but is quite fault in like circumstances. No, no that's not true. Demanding, demand the most of anyone, and will deliver harsh punishments to those who fall short. No. Harsh, no. Warrior. Eh. Yeah, this is the entire first episode is gonna be crafting a character here. Unreliable, uh, fanciful, weak willed, submissive, romantic magnet, pessimistic. We are doomed. Oh yeah, that's me. Uh which no, no not really. I I, I tend to say very pessimistic things, but yeah, I, I, a little bit, not really, philosophical definitely, tactless, yep, that would be me, uh, rebellious, very true, yep, I'm curious, ah uh, yes, the bloods, I don't know if we'll take any of these, they're kind of interesting. If we take any, it would be uh, the blood of... Where is she? Uh, I think somewhere near the bottom. Where was she? Ah, uh, Zenobia, there we go. This character is the descendant of Zenobia, warrior queen, queen of Palmyra. After her husband, Odenathas, was assassinated in 267 CE, Zenobia took control as queen of Palmyra, and regent for her infant son, Vabath... Vab... Alathus, and expanded the Palmyrian Empire by Egypt in the south in 269 CE, and then Syria and Asia Minor in the north in 272 CE. But these games were lost to the Roman Empire in uh, Emperor Alexander V by 265 CE. By the Peace Treaty, she returned and retained the title to Empress of Palmyra, but renounced control of all territory outside of Palmyra. 
Yeah. While leading her troops, she's displayed significant prowess. She was able an able horse rider and would march three or four miles with her soldiers. Hmm. Is this one a martial policy? Maybe. Maybe. We're getting close at the end here. Uh, what? Weird. Bloods of the Gods. Oh, here we go. Sociopath. That's me. Yep. I am a sociopath. <laughs> I am clinically a sociopath. It's lovely, isn't it? Uh, let's see. Intergental now. I'm the opposite of that. All uh, right. Well, I'm already down to 16. Thanks, sociopath. I wanted to say narcissistic. I do love myself. Uh, not really. I'm a little self-esteem. <laughs> This is sort of a joke there, but, you know. Um, oof, man, there are so many blood traits. Um, you know what? Yeah, we'll, we'll take it for the moment. Just to clean up the list a little bit. If, if, I, if I want to later, I'll get rid of it. Um, not really a risk taker. Unreliable, no. I have to do a second take. There's just so many things here. Good intuition. Hmm. Traditionalist. Yeah, I'm not really a traditionalist. I'm a, more of a reformist. Change is better. Um. Indecisive. Eh. Ah. Uh, moody. Eccentric. Rude. I don't like to think of myself as rude. Yeah, I'm. But. Some people will tell you I am. Some people won't. Uh, let's see. I think we can. Yeah, we get to go back up here finally. Uh, definitely chased. Yeah. And I think that's about it. I think we've uh finally got the character created. Um. Yeah. I think that'll do it. I think that'll do it. So that, that I think will do it for my traits. <laughs> Galvin Troyer. Wow. All right. Twenty-seven is my learning. I have a base of six. Oh, my, all my stats are base six. I'm used to them being base five. Interesting. Um. Well, how many points do I have to spend here? Um. I, before I start aging, I have no idea how. 18, alright. I just really shouldn't have any points in that. Um. Twenty-one. There you go. That's basically me. There you go. Uh, however, my culture should not be Romana. That's that's silly. Uh Hellenic. Okay. This is gonna make things awkward. Um Greek isn't. Is... I think Helen is Greek, actually. Uh, religion. We have a gigantic list of possible yeah, solar. Solar. Person. Yeah, I, I swear that's gotta be some made-up religion. Uh, because I've never seen it. Islam, Mithraic, Manchian, Hittites. Yeah, Hittite religions. Indo-Hellenic, uh, Greco-Roman, Jupiterite, Imperial Cultus, Sidelight, Alexandros Ammonite. Wow. Really? Um.
wish I could, like, lower my entry. That's, that's the only thing. Like, my entry gets shit. Is that, like... Is there any, any traits that lower intrigue that I might be able to describe myself as? Because my intrigue should not be this high. Um... I can't lie for shit. I'm terrible at it. This, <laughs> um, you know what? That works. That's uh, that's a good one. Let's see. Seriously. Hmm? Proud morale damage plus. Interesting. Yeah, there's a lot of effects that have been added to various things. Um. Yeah, but like I said, I, I am not this good at intrigue. 12 is, like, it should be well below 10. Like, maybe a 5. Gullible. That's, wow. In fairies and assorted spirits. Immature. Mm, judgmental. No. Fashionable. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is going to be an entire episode just looking through these traits. Not being kind of that at this point. A powerful voice. Frightened enemies. Inspire supports. Yep, let's go with that. Seriously, there's, there's gotta be. Something that drops my intrigue. Not a blood. It's no blood for the blood god here. Uh, no, judgmental, no. Really? Magnetic, romantic, specific. Willed. The problem with this, for me, is, uh, more or less, uh, I have a very flexible moral compass. <laughs> I, 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 I'm willing to see that, you know, I always do what I think is good, but what I think is good and what other people think is good, it can often, you know, Lost in his own thoughts. Yep. What? That's up. Wait, that increases my age? Wow, it does. That's silly. Uh, rigid. I'm looking for other things here. Um. Yeah. I'm not I'm I'm sorry. Yeah, I just don't see anything else here. Yeah, maybe morale damage. <laughs> you get morale damage for being ugly. Yes. There you go. Definitely. Um. Mystic is I have to look through some of the stuff. Scholar. Um. It's just I want to try and figure out a way to get my intrigue lower, but apparently it's really hard to do. Um, like really, there, there's nothing to lower intrigue. Authoritative. Solid grip on how hierarchy works and takes advantage of it. True. I, uh, do so love hierarchy work. Seriously, is there just nothing that's like minus two intrigue? Maybe, yeah, it, it's hard to say that I'm predictable, but... Yeah, people seem to be able to predict my actions. It's, it's true. Um, so I, I'll concede that. I, it's sometimes I'm, I'm looking at myself here. It's not easy. You know, it's just not easy. And I don't, I, I don't lead from the front at all. Um, uh, like. 
there's stuff here that I just, like, was hoping that, you know, I'd see. Would be, like, a minus one to intrigue somewhere, but there just isn't. Funny. No. Then we got the Bloods. Gotta sound like I'm talking about gangs. Um... Where I'm at. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I think I'm just gonna say that's probably good enough. I've got more than enough traits at this point. Okay, learning 30. Diplomacy 25. Marshal 15. Stewardship 20. And an intrigue and I, that's the lowest I can get it. I'll, I'll take it. I will take it. I finally managed to get through the character creation. Oh, God. Tune in next time for when we actually start the game. Didn't didn't even configure everything else. Oh man. Oh my god. Look at that number. Have like a party per cross. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna cut the episode right here, and I will be back in three days when I finally manage to figure out what kind of arms I want. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>